All right, and then I'm going to start. All right. Hey, everyone. Right. It's uh, most controversial episode five here with Cameron from Pot About List. What's up? Yeah, he's here. And then, um, yeah, so uh, I guess, yeah, how are, uh, how are you doing, Cam? Uh, I'm pretty good. Um, went on a nice walk today. Uh, nothing else too interesting, but but doing good. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um, all right. So I um, I usually I usually start with uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be sending the the links. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna send them in the uh, post links channel. Sure. Um, I usually start off with like, you know, like the tamer stuff that people could maybe relate to more. I curated a little bit um, based on person, and unless I'm, unless I no absolutely yeah. So I I found some because I remember you, I heard you mention the the Slipknot Reddit on your podcast and about how it's like just a lot of uh. It's a lot of twelve-year-olds doing drawings in their notebooks. Oh yeah, it's awesome. It's the best. Yeah, I I wasn't like, I I looked through. I found some stuff, but I think that um, I don't know. It seems like they're they're a very supportive community. If that stuff isn't coming up as controversial. Yeah. Like, oh, that is the thing. Is that stuff will not the the bad posts on Slipknot are the top posts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, um, yeah. So I I didn't find that much. Um, but I sent. I sent a couple that I, I just thought were funny. Yeah, well, most of them, most of the controversial ones were just people's opinions on the albums, which I can't, I don't really listen to Slipknot, so I can't really say anything about, but it seemed, uh, yeah. It yeah. Seemed, um, you know, it was that, and then there were, like, some uh, some impact font memes from, like, 2014 that were, like, um, I can't even remember. I, I want to say... I the 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 names that come into my mind are Corey and Trevor, but that's Trailer Park Boys. Yeah, Corey Taylor is the the lead singer. That's right. Yeah. I, yeah. Corey Trevor. Um. So I sent that in the post links channel. Um. Yeah. This first one is um. The the title is simply uh, John Wick. How many of you guys have seen it? And then it's just uh, what I assume is a Slipknot lyric in a. Uh, the font over a picture of John Wick, it says, you've killed the saint in me. Yeah, yeah, so the lyric is the saint in me. So that's, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a very nice picture. Yeah, like, yeah, this was, um, yeah, there there wasn't much here, and then, um, yeah. Yeah, the, the thing I, I like about this post here, though, is that, that, like, the people are correcting this person in the comments, but they're also going like, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I saw Which is it. very nice. They are very supportive. I mean, yeah, they're like, first, you know, wrong wrong lyric, but to answer your question, I did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Not yeah. even I, I liked it or I love it or anything. Just, yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Uh, I just like this one. It was just a poll, and it was just on everyone's favorite band. And uh, most of them said Slipknot unsurprisingly but uh they also just included um i guess because they ran out of like available polling things there are um there are just some of the some of the options are like corn slash tool and then megadeth slash metallica yeah i feel like are you know different bands <laughs> Yeah, Megadeth slash Metallica feels okay to put in the same one, but Corn yeah. slash Tool is very funny matched yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm like, uh, yeah, I am, I am like musically illiterate. That's sort of the. I think I've talked about. I don't know if I've ever said that like on Twitter, but I just, uh, for all of high school, I just like didn't listen to music. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, that just like impacted I think my social development. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean I, I listen to the same the same stuff just over and over since middle school. So I know what you mean. Yeah, no, I was like Hence slipknot. <laughs> yeah. No, this summer I was just um I was yeah, I was just like, Have you guys heard about Kanye West? <laughs> yeah. It's just like yeah, it's just like what a fourteen year old thinks is cool. 
Yeah, so yeah. You'll get into Slipknot next. Um, hey, they're awesome. Yeah. No, I I don't doubt it. <laughs> I, I was laughing at the idea of uh, starting the um, an official Kanye West podcast, but it's just me like playing different Kanye songs off my phone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> skipping the parts that I don't like. It's so like, yeah. Um, so have you all heard this? <laughs> I don't like this part. Um, that's a good part. Yeah. Yeah, that would be great. And yeah, <laughs> you, yeah you, you can get a lot of content out of that, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah. So I, um, yeah, unfortunately, probably fortunately for them, Maybe unfortunately for them, the Slipknot subreddit is very supportive. Yeah, uh, I don't know if they if that if that's good or bad. Um, One fun thing about the Slipknot subreddit um, is that they uh, they're since they're all like you know twelve or thirteen, they they constantly the thing that is like voted to the top of the subreddit is just like pictures of of Slipknot CDs <laughs> that are um, that and they'll be like like. Yo, just found this like at the at the record store, like or like my haul for today, and it's just like CDs, and it's like those aren't rare or interesting <laughs> at all. It's not like they're not like records, but like yeah. literally, invariably, like multiple times a day, there are posts that are just like, "Yo, just found this," like just lucked out and and found this at the store. Yeah. Um, I also right. do want to send over if we're talking about oh, this is my favorite, my favorite slip not subreddit post of all time here. Yeah. Um, this is one yeah that says love your mystique craig who's the he's the like synth guy for the band yeah. and they've oh, drawn yeah. a they've drawn a picture of him on their on their school notebook and it says the silent one um and then underneath you can see a school assignment that's like a graphic organizer for like a, a paragraph and it says name philip stevens thesis statement pot should be legal yeah. <laughs> in like a sixth grader's handwriting yeah. No, I, yeah, I remember that, uh, I remember that episode. It feels like, yeah, I wonder if that's like a, like a meeting your heroes thing. Like, you shouldn't have someone on your podcast whose podcast you're a big fan of. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be evil to you, and you're going to regret this. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to take advantage of the power that you have over my psyche. Um, I am, yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, speaking of, uh. Yeah, speaking of that, because I, I, cause I think, uh, hold on, where? Oh God, I have it on Safari and Chrome. That's that sucks. Um, let me. Um, I was. Uh, all right, I'm pulling this up. I'm gonna move on to uh, R slash furry. Not actually. Sure. Yeah, not really. Um, not really that bad. Uh, in terms of uh, like what, what um. What was I gonna say? Yeah, what's there? It's uh, but then there was some stuff I was sending. I'm just gonna like have a also actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go with role play first and then we can move into furry later. Sure. Um, yeah, uh, okay, so this is the first one. So this is r slash role play. Um, F for A, no sex, mobster role play. Hello everyone. I am looking for a long-term roleplay partner willing to help with a story. I've always liked the Prohibition era and their romances. The story follows an investigative journalist doing a story for the mob or on the mob for the police. She finds herself caught up in a smuggling scheme. Uh, you know, if it goes good, I'll I'll put it in a short story and credit you. Looking forward to writing with you. And they said, Yeah, the one comment is, what are you going for? I, I don't really so I I just like this person's approach to writing, which is uh, to role play and then write from there. That is clever. Yeah, that's a good way. You only have to do half the work. Yeah. Um, I don't know what uh, F4A means. Yeah, there there are a lot. I think it's female for anyone. Oh, there okay. There are a lot that say M for A that confused me at first. Yeah, because um, that's like an audio file format. <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and, yeah, so this one, um, I, uh, this one isn't, yeah, the actual content of this isn't too ridiculous, but I just like the, um, I like the tone, so this is F for M, I want to try something different, and it starts off with, a, edit, 
apparently my idea isn't like since yeah I assume they're saying apparently my idea isn't liked since I already have two down votes end of edit and they say so I so I think okay I'm going to explain my idea don't ask how I cam up with it I have no effing idea so I was thinking of doing a role play based off a song bear with me so how would it how would it work is I'd pick the songs if you've never heard it you can listen to it so I think the songs range from rap pop country he writes that like it's a like a combined genre, not multiple yeah. genres. Um, yeah, an example would be Bad Boy, Good Girl by Florida Georgia Line. It would help the flow of an RP. Another one, yeah. And then he just gives examples. Sorry for rambling. I'm still working on the detail. I'm looking for someone who can write multiple paragraphs as, if necessary. I'm looking for someone who, yeah, um, yeah, who I try to, I'm looking for someone who's got the experience. I do try and crank out responses uh, they said our responses five times a day my schedule is all over the place with work and family things my mom just had a baby and i'm packing up all my stuff so i can move out so my free time is when i'm in bed or when i'm having a lazy day i just i like that last part i like uh that's great yeah yeah i'm i'm free whenever i'm having a lazy day i'm free when i'm in bed <laughs> yeah when i'm in bed i'm generally free yeah, I'm not, I'm not usually doing something unless you know. My mom just had a baby. Is such a passive aggressive way <laughs> yeah. to phrase that too. <laughs> and that you you're moving out soon. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you're escaping from the baby. Like it's it's an abuser. Yeah. Um, okay. Um. Yeah, this one was. Uh, I didn't really look that much in either of these. You know, what? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I need to find the. Um, there's a really good. There's a really good furry one that reminded me of the. Uh, of the Slipknot one because it was. Um, where's the server? Um, yeah. Hold on. Um, oh, did I not even send it? I didn't even send it. Oh, that sucks. Um, I can't. I can't even. It was. Um, it was someone saying that they were. Uh, they were going to be. In in four to five years, they were going to be the first uh, the first furry. Oh, I I have to go down. I think. Never mind. Um, yeah, they were going to be the first furry to join the U.S. Army. They were saying it like they were uh, they like they were warning everyone for something like real like a breakthrough in the community. Yeah. Um, yeah, I need to. I'm sure there have already been. Yeah furries in the u.s army there's no way that there yeah. haven't been yeah no, no no that's what people are saying it's like yeah there's a lot of them uh you know it's it's not uh it's not that big a deal yeah and, well it's it's like how it's like how viking warriors used to like tap into the the spirit of the bear to become a yeah. berserker or whatever you know <laughs> nowadays you know in order to to fight the the taliban u.s soldiers need to tap into the aspect of a of a fox or maybe like a really really sexy wolf in order yeah. to to, yeah. to carry out their task. Um I forgot that I forgot that Reddit does this shit. Okay. Um it's like so hard to look. Um Yeah, I can uh I can't find it right now. That that's really unfortunate because uh because it was very funny. Um anyway, but there's the the other the other furry one was the main one that I wanted to talk about because that one was uh that's the one that I found that yeah okay let me I'm pulling it up I'm I'm so I'm so disorganized with this but uh and so these were uh this was these were the ones that I was sending you that I just thought were very funny on their own yeah From the one, the comics guy right yeah and I don't like I mean he doesn't like post his face publicly or like really give his name so I feel like it's fine. To, like I would feel bad if this was like a Chris Chan situation. Yeah, like, I, I I checked to make sure it wasn't that, but I think you know it's just someone with a, you know, someone who really likes comics and cartoons. Yeah, and animals. Yeah. So this was the first one I found, and this is all done like in sort of MS Paint. Uh, the characters look kind of like, or one of the characters looks like Bubsy. And yeah. The, the caption is a chihuahua, a rabbit, and a cat discover life's mysteries. 
then it's someone labeled event staff. And they, they're saying, I said stay to the right. And then the three uh, characters, the cat, the rabbit, and then the smaller cat, one says, take it easy, big guy, we can read. The rabbit's saying, yeah, what's the with the attitude? And then the smaller cat's just saying, which way is the bathroom? <laughs> I don't really... I don't really know what, like, the lesson here is. is this, like, um, I, I don't know if this is, like, a, a common antagonist in his life. It's, like, uh, event staff that that need to... Uh, yeah. That need to chauffeur people around. Um, but, yeah, it's sort of, like... Yeah, well, from what I've seen, this is this is like a, a you know a stream of consciousness style comic where I, I assume something happened to this person during the day and they go home and think I'm gonna make a comic about this. Yeah, yeah, no, it's um I'm sending two others. They're also they're very COVID skeptical. So there's a there's a news reporter and he says uh, this new super ten layer N95 mask apparatus prevents oxygen deprivation. Loss of communication provides 10 times the protection against the COVID and Delta virus than any conventional mask. And then the smug looking cat is saying, I think I'll take my chances with the eBay singles. Which I didn't, I think that's one that I thought about for like five minutes until I realized that he was talking about buying masks from eBay. Yeah. That's... I didn't know it was a thing. Yeah, you could just go to the store. You yeah. don't have to go on eBay. Yeah, I, I like. Yeah, like that's how that's how he's being like thrifty, is buying. Yeah, buying Lucy's off of, yeah. off of eBay. <laughs> like they're cigarettes. Yeah, but, used masks. Yeah, but he's. Yeah, but he's just. Yeah. So again, I don't know if this is a common experience. This was the one that sort of. Uh, this is the one that made me originally find it. Um, it was posted on September 11th of this year, and uh, it's the three characters. Um, that's all I'm going to call them, because I can't... One's a rabbit, and I can't even tell what the others are. And it's a chihuahua, uh, a rabbit, and a cat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, because he based them off his pets. Yeah. I read the website. That was... Uh, I am. Uh, I did look at the website, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> that part bummed me out. Yeah. Um, well, what's funny about the thing about it being... It's dedicated... To two, it's dedicated to a chihuahua and a bunny. There's, it's not dedicated to any cat. So the cat is like made up. Yeah, the cat is the yeah. I would have liked to dedicate this to a cat. Hopefully, I can have, you know, a cat that I'm close enough to die so that I can dedicate this to him. Until yeah. then, it will only be in his image. But yeah, it's um, yeah, they're standing in the I guess what looks like the uh the blue shadow of the twin towers uh it's it it they're sort of, yeah it's like they're standing in a sort of yeah it's like a combination of a, of like a god ray and a a shadow effect um yeah and they're standing there in front of the twin towers and what i assume is god is reaching out from the heavens in like a portal shaped like a heart and the, it's filled with clouds, and then his arms are coming out, and he's sort of just grabbing the towers like he's hugging them. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really know. It is yeah. so impressively looks like a guy spreading his asshole. Yeah, like, know, it's, it's got, like, it's got the legs and the, the cheeks <laughs> and the wiener. Like, it's so... <laughs> it's way too on... Like, it's way too perfect to not be that. I think I like. I think I got so excited about this when I first saw it that I didn't even like take time to look at it. But you're you're completely right. I also don't really get like what. I, I guess is that a thing that I don't know if I've ever seen a depiction of that in like a, a piece of media. Is God coming out of from heaven to hug something? Yeah, and just the arms too. Yeah, maybe it's he's very... bringing. Yeah, maybe he's bringing like the all the people that died in the towers like into heaven yeah it looks to me like he's maybe he could be also about to crush the towers together yeah, and destroy them yeah he's taking revenge <laughs> he's gonna um, knock them over yeah i do yeah. i it's it's sad the the comment on this one there's just one comment this is worst comics i've ever seen and then the op replied and said i'll keep trying with a smiley uh, face he does keep trying i 
Yeah, I feel like yeah, I should I should specify. I mean, I don't think I I have, you know, that many malicious listeners, but please do not like make fun of this person because No, it's yeah, it's great. I, better than I could do. Yeah, <laughs> if yeah, I'm being honest. Yeah, yeah. No, they're like they're going out there every day. Um Yeah, uh I'm going through Okay, I'm uh yeah, I'm pulling up the next one. I sent a, I think I sent a lot of these on Twitter, but they all they all ended up on Reddit. Um or I sent them to you from his Twitter, which yeah. he's very active on. So this one, there's also an old man character. Um I don't know who he's supposed to be. One of the one of the I guess, I guess the Chihuahua says, "What's wrong with your teeth?" And the old man says, tried out a new experimental toothpaste that guarantees perfect teeth for life. And then he has what, I get, just like big teeth that look like a pair of pants, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like he has like two buck teeth that are sort of, yeah, like down to his chin, but they're also separating out. So it does, it just looks like a pair of white pants that someone drew. Yeah, um, it's... Yeah, it's very yeah yeah. Um, yeah, I guess like I was gonna say it looked like a racist cartoon, but I don't. I think I've ever seen buck teeth drawn like that. So it's not. Yeah, really it's an good. entirely new type of thing. Yeah, yeah. And one of them says, "But you look like a rabbit." And the rabbit says, "What's wrong with that?" Um, so there's like there is some humor in here. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> this one I thought <laughs> this one was good. Um. Hold okay, yeah, here. Um, um oh is it not is it not showing the, the preview? That's fine. Um yeah, so the I guess Chihuahua is saying they're looking at a TV and he says, Did you know that this new smart TV has the revolutionary technology that must answer honestly any question you ask it about any movie, TV show, or commercial on at the time? And then old man character is sitting in a recliner in front of the TV, and he says, can I try this new ice cream? And then the commercial says, no, you're too fat. And then just a picture of a guy having some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> you're spelled Y-O-U-R also. Yeah. <laughs> Which I like. That. I like that, um... Yeah, definitely, like, working back from the punchline here, which is a TV calling someone fat. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's an ingenious premise. The yeah. TV, the new smart TV that has the revolutionary technology that must answer honestly any question you ask about any movie, TV show, or commercial on at the time. It's a, re it's, some would call it a Faustian bargain. Everyone, everyone's landed on that. Every comedy writer's landed on that premise. Yeah. Like, that was like, yeah. Yeah. Simpsons season five. You remember, like, all those episodes they did on the TV that has to answer honestly any question you ask it about any movie, TV, short commercial on at the time. Like, yeah. that, was, that was, like, yeah, that was such a good episode. It was um, classic. Yeah, those were good Futurama episodes, though. And they, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah so, I've also, I've learned that the old man character is named Jerry. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, so here's another one. There are... Uh, so here's, it says, uh, the, the sort of, I guess, caption says, step into the future with down-the-road vision. The rabbit's saying, does the future look promising to you? And then the chihuahua is saying, nature fights back. And then what can only be described as, like, just an evil red sunflower is uh, just sort of entombed this man who's wearing a red shirt but no pants, no, no genitals, like clear crotch but no genitals yeah and some kind of like gel casing all his his hands are warped his face is just like generally messed up yeah and he's being like just sucked by this plant and then there's a futuristic city in the background uh but yeah there's just flowers all over it which well it's half it's half a city you could it's half a city but then there's also a plant city next to it and it's all under some kind of like biodome thing because you can see on the left they have that same city oh yeah you're right and then on the right it's that same city again but there's just there's just green buildings too yeah and they're in a biodome for some reason like yeah they, they yeah they this is a very this is i mean this is a very it's 
This could make a great sci-fi movie. I mean, this I person's just an idea factory. This evil, this evil plant that looks a lot like Blanca will yeah. be very scary rendered on the big yeah. screen. I think. Yeah, CGI can like really take it to the next level if it ever renders that man's weird slow death. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. So here's the here's the next one. I just like this one because of how rude one of the characters is. So it's the old man talking to, I guess, his Apple home. I think that's like their version of the Alexa. And he says, Siri, what time is it? What time is it? And the Siri says, try using your watch for once. And then one of the cats says, what was that? And the other says, Siri's not having a good day. I just, I just like this because that's like what you would ask any of those things like normally. Like, yeah. It's not like, uh, he's not like setting up like a ridiculous situation. Also, he's not wearing a watch. Um, yeah. yeah. Also, they're looking. They're watching TV. Yeah. And that on the TV is that same city from the last one. Yeah, and they're reading newspapers. They're reading newspapers and watching TV of the yeah. future. Yeah, I just yeah, I just like that. Yeah, like the thing that overwhelmingly you hear people ask the most of those things is just like, "What time is it?" Um, and then that's like that's what broke it um all right here's the here's the next one um here okay so this one says this one's like a bit more dramatic this one has yeah some cool shading on this one yeah it says these new glasses show your iq and the i guess that's what the chihuahua is saying he's looking at the man and it says 60 and then the rabbit is looking at a rabbit and a dog and it says 300. Um, I always like when IQ gets used as, like, just, like, sort of thrown around because the cutoff for being, like, mentally disabled is 70. Yeah. Like, have you ever gotten those ads about, like, this game will, like, test your IQ? Like, I've gotten ones where it's, like, uh, they always, like, have, like, a mom and dad compared for some reason. And it's like my mom's IQ after playing this was a hundred. Oh yeah, yeah. My I've dad's IQ was like fifty, which is like, you know, yeah, like basic motor function. But yeah, um, yeah. I also like how this rabbit's drawn. I just yeah. This is there's also there's a comment chain on this yes, one. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, there's a hurricane rocker. So it uses them on Joe Biden. I didn't even numbers could go that low. Negative zero. <laughs> <laughs> and then the OP responds and says, Joe got an adrenaline shot to get him to 60. Yeah. And then the other person responds and says, you're reading it upside down. That says 09. And the OP says, oh shit, exactly. Yeah, this is like being in the studio with Patrice O'Neill. Yeah. <laughs> is is seeing these, is Hurricane. I haven't even been like, well, most of them don't have comments. I guess, uh, let me go to the next one that actually has a comment. And then uh, I'm also going to, Oh, it says it has five comments, but it's not showing them to me. Um, oh, maybe that's just my internet. Oh, that's just... Um, okay, I'm sending the next one. This one, uh, yeah. So this one says uh, it's the rabbit, and he appears to... It basically just looks like a bicycle pump that he's put in his mouth, but he's blowing out white smoke. And he says, what do you think of my vape, new vape machine? And then the Chihuahua says, it looks like something else. Uh, which I guess, I, I looked at this one for a little bit, and I didn't really know what else it looked like besides bicycle pump. Yeah, I can't really tell. Yeah, I guess there's like... The mouthpiece could maybe be supposed to look like a gun? Yeah, yeah. Possibly? I thought there was like, I thought there was like a sexual innuendo, but there's like, it really just, you know, maybe the comments will ask or answer that oh no it's uh someone just saying uh try using the stabilizer in your art program <laughs> and then they said what is that and then they said well what do you use i i use procreate on an ipad and then they said all right and didn't offer any more <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, also it looks like the plants in the back of this one are dead yeah. which would be a nice touch if the vape machine killed the plants yeah oh okay shit i found the uh Quick detour. I found the the army post. Um, I oh nice. I Here to, we go. Yeah. Okay. So this is from Dragon Sniper. Dragon underscore Sniper. 
Coming in three to four years, I will be the first or one of the first furry to be enlisted in the military. I've loved the military for over six years and have loved furries for about four years and want to be a furry when I grow up but also want to be in the army. And don't, I don't even know why I'm writing this, but Dragon X will be a military furry in the future. I like that they said they want to, they want to grow up to be a furry and in the army. Yeah. Um, and then someone said, uh, yeah, there's furries everywhere. You're not the first to enlist or the last. Good luck. Thanks for wanting to serve. And they replied and said, okay, thanks. Do you know of any who have social media? And then the person <laughs> replied and said, no. And then they said, okay. Um, <laughs> and then they did, they gave the name Aurora Bloom on Instagram. So if you want to, yeah. Um, yeah, and then someone says they're a fairly large number. This person is just like, yeah, everyone that says that there are, he's trying to, uh, he's just trying to connect with them. Like, someone says, like, you know, yeah, there are plenty in the army, and he's like, oh, do you know any of them? And they said, oh, yeah, a few friends and acquaintances, and then they said, nice. Oh, my God. Have yeah. you seen, have you seen this Military Furries Facebook group that got linked here? I, oh, no, I didn't even... Hold on. Um, Check this out. Click. It's it's a link. It's under. They said there's already a fairly large mill fur community. Thanks for you for wanting to serve your country. And uh, do you know where to find them? And yes, they linked yes, the military yes. furries Facebook group. Oh, this is um, crazy. The cover oh, photo is a battleship with a quote over that says, "We sleep we sleep safe in our beds because rough men stand ready in the night to visit violence on those who would do us harm." George Orwell. <laughs> Hold on. I need to uh, I need to log into Facebook. And uh, join this community if necessary. Um, you know, you're. I I wasn't even aware of all five branches of the military. This is fucking crazy. So, day before the official kickoff of my exercise, and have already been zapped by electricity, <laughs> yelled at for things beyond my control, blamed for data being corrupted on a hard drive, only later to be the master of fate, getting everything replaced where everyone else failed, and finally breaking a couple of regulations and laws, probably. <laughs> yup, sounds a boot right. Dog bless coffee. I'm going to need it the next week or so. What laws did they break in the military? <laughs> Very important. Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> that's never a good thing to hear yeah, from someone never, in the military. Yeah, I fucking snapped. <laughs> Sound, thank, thank dog I have coffee. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I feel like if they, yeah, I, I feel like someone got reprimanded. It's like, did you let the military furry around the fucking hard drives? We need to get rid of that now. We don't like, we don't know what he did to it, but, you know, he's gonna, yeah, okay, here he's saying, uh, I couldn't be more proud of my military. This is like uh, when they repeat, like gave, uh, they repealed like "Don't ask, don't tell," like being gay in the military. So I couldn't be more proud of my military right now. This is happening a lot faster than I thought it would. I will disclaim: I'm not a gay service member, but I know several, some of which are in domestic partnerships and are furries. This is seriously great news. Um, this field exercise is kicking my ass. I'm exhausted, but at least I got to smoke hookah and share fine tea with some gentle first tonight as a break. And tomorrow, put my muzzle right back to the grindstone. <laughs> um, I assume that you just like scroll down for that. Um, yeah, I'm looking at some other. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking. <laughs> I'm on. I'm on the page, the like community section of the page, where you see like people who posted at the page, oh, like I on the page's wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's one, <laughs> one for the, just, somebody posted on military for his wall just said, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I was just looking through this guy's post. I didn't even, I forgot about the, the community section. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it's just people saying that they enlisted and that they're, yeah. And then someone said, I guess it's time to transition to a military furry veteran page. After nearly eight years and two branches, I can finally hang up the old uniform to join the civilian workforce and possibly a militia. <laughs> I, uh... God yeah. damn. Yeah, I don't know what militias they're joining. Yeah, um... Yeah, not, not that much. I'm, I'm so glad that, uh... I'm so glad that you, you found this, um... Yeah, and then someone, yeah, oh, here's someone that says, uh, it's a disturbing text message from a disabled veteran where he was laughing about him being injured in an IED explosion. I think that cruel and an unusual to that just cause. 
It's a military fur that isn't real that's getting hurt. Oh, so they're showing that even military furries can be hurt by combat. Yeah, and the disturbing yeah. text is just LOL. Yeah, they just said LOL. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they're just like, yeah, it's not cool. They're just kind of like fucking with them. Yeah. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, uh, hold on. I'm, uh, I fucking hate Twitter for, for desktop. Okay, there it is. Um, I'm going to, uh, yeah, I, uh, and then, yeah. Keep, I uh, keep stalling. Um, so I guess I'll just uh, keep because I I went to uh, Twitter. Twitter's like easier to look through for these. Yeah, um, and I assume he posted them all on Reddit. He seems to be very active. So I'm just going through like the uh, the the DMs that I've sent you. Um, here's one. Uh, can I be on your show? I'm gonna kill myself if I can't be on your show. No, that doesn't. Um, uh, <laughs> kidding. Uh, that's what I was, yeah. The joke was that, whatever. Um, yeah, so here's one. And it's, uh, it says, a chihuahua, a rabbit, and a cat discover life's mysteries at the border. And they're in an old, rundown car. One of them says, I just heard gunshots. And they said, where are we on the map? And then the other one says, the Texas border. Which, um, I... I guess the implication is that it's like violent. Th- this, it should be said that this person is a conservative. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Again, it's just like, just sort of like those little, uh, I don't know how to describe it, like half, uh, like just half jokes that require something else. Here's the next one. Uh, yeah. So well, child. it's very, I feel like it's not even that far off from a lot of like cartoons that are like in serialized and stuff in newspapers and like it is there is definitely that style of joke writing where it's just like not it's just something like it's a little bit idiosyncratic and that's like it but this guy is taking it to a whole nother level yeah political cartoons in general just like none of them are funny like half of them are about the national debt i might dm this guy and ask him his thoughts on that um (laughs) here's one uh the chihuahua and a chihuahua and a rabbit uncover life the cyst. It's the old man. Just his head. Uh, I guess. Oh no, they're in the background. He said, "I'm getting my cyst removed today." And then the Chihuahua says, "Get back! It doesn't like that idea." And uh, it's a cyst with teeth. And uh, that's the joke: is that it's a cyst with teeth. Yeah. Very scary. <laughs> yeah. I. I wouldn't. You know what? It's. Um, yeah. I'm. I'm just uh, yeah, going through these. Here's a. A chihuahua and rabbit uncover life's mysteries. Target practice. And then it's the COVID virus, you know, on a, on a sort of a, like an archery target. And it's, it's saying you've got the wrong strain and they're about to throw axes at it. Yeah. Well, um, the way that this person draws perspective, they're about to throw axes at each other. <laughs> yeah, that is true. It looks like they're about to. <laughs> yeah they're just fa- he, yeah there's no like depth of field or anything so they're yeah, just, just they just hate each other yeah <laughs> um yeah i uh i get like i think i i think i said it but it's like um it's just sort of uh yeah it's just like it's like thinking of the punchline before the joke um so here's the here's the next yeah. one they sent a chihuahua and a rabbit uncover life's mysteries, microwave therapy. And it's a doctor pointing like a, a stage light from a movie production, basically, at an old man who's been reduced to bones and then some skin on his face and feet and hands. It says new microwave therapy kills all disease with some side effect. The animals are saying keep walking. Which I guess is, yeah, just like, a, I mean, I guess like, the in a philosophical term you could like interpret it as like you know the only true cure to any of your diseases is death but they just right. happen to be going about it in a way where all of your organs are melted yeah and then this was uh yeah, yeah. It, uh, this is also this is one i feel like there are some of these where instead of thinking of the punchline first they just couldn't they clearly could not <laughs> think of a punchline to save their life 
<laughs> the yeah. punchline of this one's just keep walking. <laughs> just keep walking. Yeah. No, a lot of them don't really have punchlines. They're just like you know, they're just like exclam expl exclamations. Yeah, um, it's. I mean, it's the same type of thing as being like, uh, like, uh, did that just happen? Yeah. This, it's like the equivalent of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, because like these. Yeah, I mean the thing with like people like this is that because like I feel like I feel like you find like a lot of these people is that they're not like particularly like less funny or talented than the average person or like they are a little less. They're just they just really put themselves out there. Yeah, I, I genuinely believe most people who draw stuff like this are more talented than the average person. Yeah. Most people could not draw anything like this for shit. Like. Yeah. That's just a fact. Like, uh, it, even even if the, a lot of the stuff that people make like this is like torture to look at and is very evil, they definitely they got something going for them. I have to say, I have to admit it. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So here's the here's the next one. Uh, after moving to NYC, a Chihuahua, a rabbit, and an old man uncovered life's mysteries. She oh, I love I love this one. Yeah. So the Chihuahua is asking, "Why did we all move to New York City?" And the old man says cheap rent and the rabbit asks is that a good thing um i like the size here because they're all bigger than the door yeah they're all bigger than the door um the that would make the the uh, unless it's no it wouldn't even be a perspective thing it's just uh yeah the the rabbit or the not the rabbit the the chihuahua is judging by this at least like like seven or eight feet tall yeah Seven yeah. eight feet tall. The rabbit's like maybe five feet tall, but then the man is at least twelve feet tall. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so maybe this could be like a commentary on how small the the cheap rent apartment is, right? Like yeah. maybe maybe they, it's such a small door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I could be, but also I just I love. Is that a good thing? Because it's yeah. like <laughs> obviously <laughs> cheap rent is a good thing. Yeah. Well, it's like I guess the implication is like is like you might be in a bad neighborhood but it's yeah like if you i think i checked this he said he was like i think he lives on long island oh it's nice like, yeah or it said like long beach new york i assume that that was like near long island um yeah i, I just like the assumption that that rent is like um is just like buying like it's like cheap meat like if it's too cheap you should be suspicious like something yeah. could go wrong <laughs> not like yeah. Also, the background. He just he loves this like one monolithic building. Yeah. 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 It always does have this like giant trapezoid building that looks like a a Blade Runner. Yeah. Building. I think they have like one of those in Pyongyang and San Francisco. That's the fucked up thing. Is yeah. Now that I think about it, buildings do just look like that now in a lot of yeah. places. Yeah. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's common to okay. Yeah. So I'm just uh. I mean, I'm just like kind of, I'm just sort of reading through like all the messages I have sent you, but I, I did that anticipating like, you know, I needed to backlog it and I'm going through, so I sent you this, I mean, you've already seen all this stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I sent you a screen recording I took of, uh, of this guy's media tab and he had like 1100, he had 1100 photos and videos. And I I thought it was gonna be that many comics, but I wasn't I wasn't treated to that. It was just uh, he replies to like a lot of conservative commentators, you know Ben Shapiro. And here's one comment that says, "Get the shot. It's um, it's a, it's a, it's a vial like a you know vaccine like shot going mm -hmm. through a virus with the American flag sort of where the like, I guess plunger thing you push in would be, um, not replacing it, just sort of placed over it, and then it's stabbing into. Well, it's not stabbing into. It's stabbing to the side of a small white lump, and then another lump that has the uh, the Chinese flag on it. So, um, I, I guess I. So I guess he's saying that. Getting the shot is how you beat China? Yeah, which it is. Yeah, I mean, it is. If you want to, like, do better than China, you shouldn't, <laughs> like, you don't want to die. Um, that is, like, yeah. 
Yeah. Is, uh, Something I only just noticed um, is that I apparently have this guy blocked on Twitter, which oh. I didn't realize until now. And I didn't do it like since you said, so I must have already had him blocked. Yeah. Um, and I think that I assume what that means is that he probably promoted his tweets and I saw them and blocked it. But that if he's promoting these also, like, yeah. that's I, great. I mean, I like block all, like, every like ad except these um, yeah yeah so it's like i can't count but th- he sent this picture um like a fair number of times <laughs> and then um this is like this is all in like december of 2020 so it's in the, the aftermath of the election joe biden's won and he's just replying to conservative pundits and says uh it's just like the the fox news um like uh like pundit staff and then he's just put the words, you all suck over them. And then he's just sending it to various, you know, like just people like that, or like the people in the picture or things like that. Just you all suck. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think that's, um, I don't know. I don't know these commentators really at all, but he just put it, boards over one of them that says go away. Another one that says ass hat. One over Obama that says go away. Oh, Dana Pereno, I guess that's her name. Um, yeah, asshat, idiot, just over various people he doesn't like. Um, and then, yeah, just, uh, and then, uh, oh, yeah. And then I, I, like, scrolled through it so fast because there was literally so much there um, that, like, watching it is, yeah. Yeah, and, it's uh, so funny that this guy is, like, mean, too. Yeah, that's, like, yeah, that's what, like, pushed me over the edge to, like, not think it's a Christian thing is like, I mean, not like Christian is like the example, but it's like, it's obviously, it's not someone that's just like trying to put their art out there. Like there's definitely, yeah. yeah so he posted a, a picture of AOC with the words next to her that said crazy, but probably awesome naked in all caps. Um, yeah. Ass hat, ass hat, ass hat, go away. They ass. Um, I'm sending a few that I that I'm oh. I'm finding here in the in the yeah. Discord. Yeah, and then it's not only that he's also replied to them, and uh, so I'm gonna so I just like I I was just like looking for what he's what he's sent and uh, to vary he has a, a pretty wide range. He's replying to Scott Adams, the Dilbert guy, and said, "Stop with the Biden presidency bullshit." And he's replying to Brett Baer. And he's saying, you are a great dad. And he's replying to Scott Adams again. He says, why the fuck do you think you will be president? And then he's replying to Fox News, you are a fucking idiot. And then it, just to some random person saying, fuck you, cunt. <laughs> um, so he's like, yeah, very, uh, yeah, very, very charged. Um, oh, okay. yeah. There are a lot of really oh, ominous oh, ones fuck. that he's I posted. I haven't even seen these. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, fuck. he's got a lot of really fuck. scary ones. Fuck. That's really oh my god. That looks like Jesus. That's like that fucking um what's that like Welsh like Christmas horse or Halloween horse? You know that like Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, that's like a it's like an internet like factoid that people talk about is like the uh like a Welsh tradition is like in, like trick or treating basically, but you'd go around in a costume and then the head was the skull of a dead horse. Oh, is it like Krampus? Yeah, yeah, sort of like that. But that's just what I immediately thought of when I saw this guy because he has like that's like he horse looks shape. yeah. It's yeah. scary. Um I like, It's like the horse demon from Berserk. Yeah. I uh I like this first comic also because the the grandpa has like a cool uh a cool beard, not beard. What 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 type of facial hair is that? It's like a goatee. Goatee or no? I thought goatee had a must. Or that's like um whatever. It's like a, I think maybe chin strap. Whatever. It's like a like sort of an like a hippie style beard, I guess. Um, and he says, "What do you guys think?" And then they're asking. Uh, and then he has just a tattoo that says, "I got the COVID shot," with the the bigger letters filled in with red for some reason. And someone said, uh, and then one of the animals says, why did you have to get a tattoo? The rabbit says, he lies a lot. 
which I, I, I guess, yeah, yeah. The the implication is that he has like a malicious intent for getting the tattoo. I guess to like, yeah. I I think he's also like this guy's. I you can never tell if he's like pro or anti vaccine. Like he he doesn't sort of, he doesn't take like a a stance on that. Yeah. Then this next one, this is what I was reacting to. Yeah, this one's <laughs> this one's just like <laughs> fucked up. And the rabbit's saying, "What is that?" And then the bunny says, uh, "Chemical plant worker." And then you know, I'm just gonna like that's just gonna be the image I post with the episode. Um, yeah, it's very it's a very creepy. Yeah, I'm just gonna yeah. I'm going to save that one. Um, <laughs> these are great. I don't know how I like didn't find these. Um, thank you so much. So and then the next one is they're in bed, I guess, the chihuahua and the rabbit. And uh, the rabbit says, why do you always include me in your pain zombie dream? And it's not even really zombies as much as it is just a lot of blood and feet. Yeah, it's very gruesome. Like, <laughs> yeah. compa- Like for this guy, it's like... There's a lot of blood dripping down people. Yeah. That's also, like, not really, like, a zombie thing. I mean, I yeah. guess it is, but it's, like, not really... Like, if you see blood, you don't really automatically think zombie. That's just, like... Yeah, without the zombie context, or I guess without, like, all the people in the background holding their arms out in a shambling manner, this just looks like like the aftermath of a horrible accident. Yeah, yeah. And then it's also a close-up on these people's dirty feet. Um, yeah, it's specifically they're dirty, too. Like, there's, like, yeah. <laughs> gray dirt, like, drawn onto them. Yeah, everyone... The guys in the background are dirty. They're wearing suits. Um, and then this one... <laughs> they're, like... I want to include, like, both of these with the, with the show because I need people to see them. But uh, it's... Uh, he said... The Chihuahua asks, Do you believe in ghosts? And the rabbit says, I've never seen one. And then uh, what just looks like, a, how do I even describe that? Okay, so he It looks like have, a creepypasta face. Yeah, no, that, that's, that's what I was looking for. It, does, it looks like a creepypasta face of, like, a younger, like, British member of parliament. <laughs> um, if that makes sense. I, I feel like he, or no, 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 he looks like, uh, he looks like one of the lesser Beatles. But I don't know which one. One of the ones that was still still alive, but when they were like from yeah. the sixties, I can't quite remember. Um, yeah, the sideburns are too visible for the face to be scary. Yeah, no, th- yeah, the sideburns are incredibly visible. I forgot about that. Um, all right, uh, almost, um, almost done. I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing if there's anything else that I. Oh, I had a, I I already um. I did a I did a podcast yesterday and I shared some of these, um, so I I don't want to overshare. I didn't share too much. I think the um, oh yeah the other thing in the furry one that I thought was funny was that there was someone just posting their videos titled uh, "Trans Education Visibility and Early Signs in Youth," and then the pictures they're furry, but like if you go to this person, they're not like using that as a resource to, like, help trans kids, it's, like, these are their suggestions on how to stop trans people harming your children. But Jeez. they're, they're okay, you know what, I have to share this one, too, because <laughs> the, the thumbnail is just, uh, it's just, it's just, uh, they're, so, yeah, they're, like, educating with a, their furry avatar, but it has enormous breasts. Yeah, huge. <laughs> just like huge, and they're like, I don't even know what you call that, like middle cleavage. It's yeah, like, it's got a boob window. Yeah, boob window. Um, yeah, it's like yeah. So I'm gonna just see. Yeah, someone just said. Uh, so I have a few objections, and then I, I like that this person watched the entire video. And they're like, they're um, they're refuting each one of the points. Yeah. Uh, which I think is, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I'm just sending the uh, the last, like, yeah, l- the last couple that I have. Um, hold on. Okay. Um, yeah. It says my my friend wants uh, 
my friend wants to buy a fursuit, but um, yeah, but he says, but he says he doesn't he doesn't think it'd look good on him. Can y'all give him some encouragement in the comments? And it's just a picture of their friend, which uh, I don't really I didn't I like that they're talking about a fursuit like it's a coat. Like, yeah. Yeah, and not and not something that covers your entire body. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not it doesn't matter. Yeah. what you look like to wear a fursuit. Yeah, yeah, it um Yeah. Um I like that you I like that you 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 started this off well well and you said you you curate this around the guest interests and you started with with like with slipknot and stuff and then and then moved to furry so it's like yeah. you're trying to trick your listeners into thinking yeah. that i'm a furry <laughs> no yeah that's a nice well, stealth uh the, the one that i did with uh the one that i did with patrick we uh i talked about abdl stuff so oh yeah you're you guys aren't the worst off or you aren't the worst off in that <laughs> um yeah no i just like i was just yeah i just like typed I just like type in like three random letters and then see what comes up. Um, mm -hmm. Like that's my that's my search method. It's been like okay, uh, but I need to like I might need to like start like going through people's profiles and hopping from subreddit to subreddit because like I think that's how you like I, I think the the ideal is to have like uh, like ten to maybe fifty thousand people. Like that's when that's when like the subreddits start getting good, is uh, when there's like, yeah, not enough people. For yeah. To be entirely popular. Yeah, I um, I wasn't okay. I'm a okay. Never mind. I was just I was just checking my uh, my mic. Um. Yeah, I do like that the 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 Chihuahua Rabbit and Cat comic. You can buy a calendar. A 2022 oh, yeah. calendar, yeah. Um, which um, I might consider doing, for only twenty dollars yeah. USD. Pretty <laughs> good deal. Yeah. Um, and it looks right. like it cover it covers January 2022, um, all the way to June 2023. So, yeah. pretty good deal. Yeah. I um. Yeah, I was I was thinking about yeah I was <laughs> I was thinking about like. If there's anything on like your subreddit that I would even post, but it's just I think it's literally all people saying like just posting like like various like fucked up looking people and saying this is either Cameron, Patrick, or Caleb. Yeah, it's a godless place. <laughs> no good. Place. Yeah, no, that is like <laughs> yeah, that, that's like that's like I I like didn't understand that attitude for a while, but like even once you get like one person that genuinely like responds to like every other tweet you make you just like feel i uh, you just like feel like a deep hatred in your heart maybe not maybe maybe not hatred but you do uh i do sort of get like that that annoyed feeling um i'm a uh, yeah i'm a i'm a famous superstar and everyone else yeah. is a is a tiny ant and i yeah. was born to destroy them yeah yeah it's just like yeah it's yeah, it's just like someone with twenty followers just like saying they agree with like something I quote tweeted, like some like dumb bullshit that I like quote tweeted because it's like a thought or opinion I had. They're like, I agree. I'm like, I didn't need to hear this fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I, I if any of them are listening, I love you, and that's just an emotional flare up that I have. Uh, I, I value all of you. I won't follow back. Um, <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I think that's it. Um, awesome. Well, uh, thanks yeah, for having thanks. me on, man. Oh yeah, no, thanks for coming on. Uh, yeah. Okay. And okay. Um, uh, all right. I need to. I need to figure out this. All right. Should I start recording? Are we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Cool. Um, uh, my my fucking my mic of mess up but i th it i think uh, the worst case scenario or i think uh yeah it's, it would just be like the craig recording um but i yeah you can uh i think uh yeah and then you would just be recording yours um anyway uh yeah you can uh you can head out i don't need anything else from sure. you
Uh, M- MP3 okay for the audio? Yeah, yeah, MP3 is fine. Um, I think you should just be able to. It, oh no, you can't send it over Discord because the limit's like five megabytes or something. Um, yeah, yeah. Just just, the, the, just DM me your email and I'll send it over when it's done to, uh, exporting. Okay, great. Thanks. All right. Yeah. Thanks again, man. That was fun. Oh, of course. All right. See ya.